Madden time here as the 7-5-1 Browns go up against the Kansas City Chiefs. 9-4 years so far for KC, so right about where they were this time last year. Now, the AFC North has been rocky so far. Uh, I'm not really sure if this is going to be an accurate representation of this year, but this is what Madden cooked up. Brown 7-5, and 7-5-1. Bengals 6-6-1. Six, six, they got that tie with with Cincinnati. Ravens at 6-7 and seven is a huge surprise. And then the Steelers at 5-8 and eight is not a surprise to me. So who do you got in this game today? Browns, Chiefs. Give me a B for Brownies. Give me a C for Chiefs. I only want to see a billion Bs in the comment section below. So start spamming B for me as the intro to the Madden game rolls. Let's go, Brownies. It is a frosty day in Northeast Ohio, Trace. The snow is on the ground as Deshaun Watson and company get set for Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. Quick reminder, this is Madden 24 with updated rosters of Madden 25. So we got jerseys like this, uh, but so be it. Browns versus Chiefs. I'm excited. Patrick Mahomes and company coming to KC for, I mean, the first time in a long time. Here we go. Deshaun Watson, who's been Excellent, by the way, in the Madden world. Like, I don't know if he's been like MVP good, but he's been very good. He has lived up to the billing of what the Browns gave up for him and then awarded him in a contract. Start spamming B. Stefanski's chili. Deshaun Watson's riling up the troops. Let's go, boys. Looks like Valley Forge out there. The British are on the other side, or I guess the Hessians are really on the other side. Sneak attack. Here we go. Jeremy Stallman hanging out with us. Good to see you. What's that? What? Whoa. Just got some uh, intel put in my ear. Chat sports rumors. I can't share just yet. Or probably ever. Hope I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got to get that out of my head right now. No, that's fine. I will add that this person kind of gave me like a death glare today. And I was like, that's kind of weird. Not a death glare, but okay. Back to the Madden game. Enough of the chat sports rumors. Um, yeah, the return sucks. When I play NCAA now, I never let my guy take it out. I fair catch every time. It's automatic 25-yard line. At best, you get to what? 26, 27? Rarely are you going to get to the 30. Yeah, oh, God, no. That, that is non-existent. All right, Browns fans, I need everyone to type, here we go, Brownies, here we go. Woo, woo. Here we go, Brownies, here we go. Woo, woo. We got Patrick Mahomes lining up in the gun. Foam their own 20. Mahomes. Looking, throwing, he is broken up. Let's go. Nice play made. That looks like Ronnie Hickman, I believe. Incomplete pass, second and 10. Not going to lie, when Patrick Mahomes, and he's, deserved, he's earned this, drops back to pass, I'm always thinking, oh, shit, the longer he holds it. Now, usually for other quarterbacks, it's like, all right, good, we can sack him now. That's usually not the case with Patty Mahomes. Second and 10, Mahomes. Down the right sideline, that is incomplete. And there's an injured KC offensive lineman, too. So just a bad sequence. This I'm not sure who that is, but they seem to be in some discomfort. Third and ten, spam those threes. Let's go. Spam those threes. Get those threes in the chat. Third down. Did Andy Reid look skinny to you guys in this game? He, he, he lost some weight, and then I thought he put it back on, which Andy Reid's better the fatter he is. Third and ten. Mahomes, once again, looking. Flushed out of the pocket. He will chuck it out of bounds. Incomplete. The Browns force a quick three and out. Let's go. <laughs> Mahomes is rattled. Rattled. Hey, dude can't play in the snow. No, Kansas City. Warm weather. That, by the way, not to go off topic here, that's got to be the worst weather in the country. They have sweltering hot summers, 
and freezing cold winters. Impossible to be that like hot and cold. Oh boy. Punt return starting at the 30 and it'll stop at the 35. This would be a really good time for the Browns to go and score a touchdown. So Deshaun Watson and company. By the way, usually the producer has seen parts of the game or at least knows the outcome of the game. Do you know the outcome of the game? So we're all watching this for the first time. I always am watching for the first time, but usually the producer who recorded it knows it. But this time Trace didn't record it. Someone else did. So it's a, it's a brand new movie for all of us. First and ten. Here we go. Deshaun Watson will line up under center from his own 35, takes the snap, it's a drop back. Watson with time, planting, throwing incomplete. Was looking for Chubb, just not on target, and it'll be second and 10. Carson Wentz, yeah. If he gets a Super Bowl ring, I don't think he should actually get it. Doesn't feel like Carson Wentz is someone who should ever get a ring. Although, I, I take that back, he already has one. Nick Foles got him one. That was stupid of me. That was a dumb, dumb moment. Second and 10, it's a run for Chubb. This is going basically nowhere. Gain of one. Third and nine. Third down. Quiet. Offense is at work. I love when the Jumbotron puts that up. Quiet. Offense is at work. It's usually like a construction logo, too. Third and nine. In the gun. Watson. it. Good protection. We'll tuck it and run. He has some space. Watson is taken down. Two yards shy of the line to gain. Good tackle by Drew Tranquil. He's one of the better off-ball off linebackers, and you saw why. It looked like Watson had... Good job, Chubb. Just right there. So fourth and two, and this might be the first time in Madden. Look how skinny Reed is. Oh, Zempic Andy Reed. Um, that we saw both coach or both teams punt on their opening series. High into the Cleveland sky, the return across the 15, out to the 20, and stop before the 25. So Mahomes will be backed up for a second straight drive. Early here in the first quarter, scoreless, do we have ourselves a defensive showdown? We could, and I'm not going to lie. I couldn't see the uh, punt returner until the ball was in his hands. So that was the, the white on the snow yeah. made it kind of tough. I can only imagine what the quarterback is seeing right now. First and 10. Mahomes in the gun. Takes the snap. It's a run up the gut. Pacheco, good gain. First down and more. Isaiah Pacheco, gain of 12. JOK's unhappy. Kansas City. Breaks the huddle at their own 36. Snap to Mahomes. He looks around. Throwing down the right sideline. That's broken up. Mahomes has not completed a pass today. I'd love to know the longest Patrick Mahomes has started a game without a completion. Like How many attempts did it take him to get his first completion? I doubt it's more than five. Can you envision Mahomes starting off 0 for 6? It's hard for any quarterback to start off 0 for 6. Second and 10, that one is completed, and it's a gain of 6. So third and 4, here we go, span those threes. Jordan Hicks on the stop, third down, let's get a stop. Let's get a stop. Third and 4. In the gun, Mahomes. With time. Throwing deep. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kadarius Tony? Is that who I think that is? Oh, that sucks. There is nothing worse than a big completion on third down. You feel like you're about, like, on second down, okay. You're like, whoa, didn't see that one coming. Third down, just the swing of emotions to, we're about to get off the field to, they have first and goal now? How did that happen? From the 10, Mahomes will drop back. He is pressured. He will run with it, and he slides. Gets about half the distance needed, second and goal.
Come on, boys. Mahomes in the gun. From the six. Oh, I saw that false start, too. False start on the right tackle. Who replaced... Wasn't Donovan Smith their right tackle last year? But he's not there anymore. He went to the Bengals, right? That's what Madden's good for. It's a good reminder of some of the free agent moves. Second and goal. Mahomes throwing end zone. Caught touchdown. Travis Kelsey. In a homecoming type game, Kelsey is the first one to score. The only good thing about this is that even in Madden, they don't have the capabilities to go to Taylor Swift in the box. So we do not get to see Taylor Swift's box. Do you want to, oh, that was, okay. He came over from Jacksonville. I thought he was their left tackle, but no, Smith was the left tackle last year. Or did they move him? Okay. I think they moved Juwan Taylor from left tackle to right tackle. Or Donovan Smith last year was the left tackle the whole time. Yeah, Wanya Morris, uh, Tennessee legend, transferred to Oklahoma. 7 nothing bad, guys. I can't get over skinny Andy Reid. That's, listen, Andy Reid can't have all the rings and be skinny. It's one or the other. All right, while they're getting ready for the kickoff here, make sure you get yourself a Browns t-shirt combo, 40% off at chatsports.com slash CLE combo. I put that link in the comments and description of today's video. Get yourself a Browns t-shirt combo today, 40% off. As we go back to Naheem Hines, returning a kick, this is not going to go well. He doesn't even get to the 25. So Watson and company will trot back on the field, trailing 7-0 this time. Little over two minutes to go in the first quarter. Elijah Moore has been relatively quiet this year. Like He'll have some good catches and he'll have some good moments here and there, but I kind of wish I kept stats, but I'm I just not going to go back in time and rewatch all my games. I think Jared Judy has been the best receiver this season. It's a run for Chubb, left side, first down and more. Chubb across the 40. Chubb shoved out of bounds at the 50-yard line. Brian Allen without shoulder pads loves it. Nick Chubb, big gain on first down. Let's go. First and 10 brownies. At midfield, Watson under center. Play fake, pressure, mounting, and he's sacked. Um, if there is one thing that Watson has not been the best at in the Madden world, it is avoiding sacks. Whether that's just a little bit of holding onto the ball too long or one thing or the other. We got some super chats rolling in. We'll throw them on screen in just a second here. Second and 17. So a big loss. Watson in the gun this time. He checks it down. It's caught, and they'll get about half the yardage. Third and seven here. James Harper with a $2 super chat. Just got here. How are you, Petey? James, I'm doing great. I'd probably be a little bit better if it wasn't 7 nothing Chiefs, but you know what? I will not let a Madden game dictate my mental health. I reserve that for the entire fall. Uh, appreciate you, James. We'll look at Jeremy's after this third and seven here. Snap to Watson. He will throw. That's broken up. Fourth and seven. Damn. So the Browns are looking at a second straight punt. Jeremy, what's going on, dude? You say T Swift's box got to love her box. I, I don't know what, J J what Jeremy's talking about here. I just know that if Travis Kelsey's here, Taylor Swift is probably here. They definitely got a box for her. And it would be her box. So, I wonder if we'll see Taylor Swift's box. First and ten. I, I don't get the funny things that you guys are laughing at. Mahomes, do you think, like, Britney's in her box? Maybe I Spice is in her box? Yeah. I feel bad for T. Swift having to put it with Britney. Yeah, that... That's a bad force friendship. That really is. First and ten. In the gun, snap to Mahomes. He looks around. He throws, middle of the field, caught, gain of 12, first down, finding his best man, Travis Kelsey. 
I wonder if Mahomes got married today if Kelsey would be his actual best man. And I only ask that, like, I think sometimes us fans kind of uh, build up on-field chemistry as to off-field friendship. And maybe, like, all along, Mahomes' best friend is the backup right tackle. Mm. And we just don't know about that. Another strike over the middle. This one's not getting out of control, but when Kadarius Tony is torching you, we have to have a conversation with the DBs. Juan Thornhill. I'm hoping he'll have a big year this year. Kind of a bounce back season. First and ten. Across midfield, Mahomes trying to add on to his 7-0 lead to start the second quarter. Snap to Mahomes. He throws deep again. That's caught again. And another first down. So, oh, that's not. Is that Kadarius? I don't think. Who is five on the Chiefs? Can you look that up for me? I thought he was like 19 anyway. It's not Rice. It's loading. Oh, see, that's why Madden's good. I kind of forgot about Hollywood Brown going to Kansas City. So, okay, Hollywood Brown's allowed to cook us. Incomplete pass, overthrow. Second and ten. See, now when the season rolls around and that first pass from Mahomes to Brown is completed on Thursday Night Football, you're not going to be looking around going, who's that? Like, you'll know, like, well, if you watch Petey's Madden Sims, you know that's Hollywood Brown. That's the kind of insight we have over there. Mahomes, quick throw, right side, caught, gain of five, third down, spam those threes. Spam those threes. Let's go. Third down, third and five. Uh, I'll say it right now. This is the game. If you get off the field, force a field goal, 10 nothing. First down is probably going to result in a touchdown later. This is the game. Oh, I don't know. That's a stop. That's a stop. Fourth and one. Season's still alive, baby. That's a stop. Harrison Butker. Are they going to go for it? Sometimes they do this. and it, Yeah, they, they like, Madden's dumb. Oh, what? Did he get it? Was that a fake field goal? Who got the first? The Browns first down? What just happened? Oh, you got to be shitting me. They went for it and got it. Mahomes hands it off. Pacheco right side, gain of five. Damn. Second and five. Patrick Mahomes lines up under center, eye formation. Snap, pitch left, Pacheco running with it. It was horrible vision by Pacheco. It looked like there was an opportunity for him to go get six. He decides, instead of the open patch of grass, Denzel Ward's looking pretty tempting right now. Third and three. The issue is this drive has been like four minutes long. Browns do get the ball to start the second half, though. So we can get the, the two-for-one special. First down carry, but it comes at a price. Big hit to Pacheco. As Kansas City is bleeding a lot of time off the clock here to round out the first half. First and ten for Mahomes. In the gun. Takes the snap. Looking. Pressure. Throws back in the end zone incomplete. Pressure mounted. Couldn't take it. Second and ten. Okay. Hold him to a field goal. Hold him to a field goal. Get the ball. Score. Halftime. Score. We're either tied, down four with the lead. That's the path right there. But it starts with a field goal right here. Second and 10, Mahomes. Titty City. Kelsey, second touchdown today. 
Damn it. Fourteen nothing bad guys. All right, offense, your turn. Need a response here. I mean, a touchdown to close out the half would be a huge momentum swing, a big jolt of life to this team. But right now, Kansas City has a firm lead in this game. Somehow, Trace's Saints beat the Chiefs in this game, by the way. In Arrowhead on Monday Night Football. Yeah. Which actually sounds very plausible because that feels like a game where the Chiefs would sleepwalk. You would lose your mind. I think I would literally piss my pants. And Derek Carr would kind of be like the topic of discussion for a couple of days. You know what? I don't care what's going on in the world at that moment, like in the NFL world. I'm putting everything on the Saints' money line for that Monday night game. That screams overlooked by the Chiefs, which they've been caught doing before. Last year they lost, uh, this one was in Arrowhead, but they lost at Lambeau to, at the time, not a great Packers team. First and 10. Browns need a score. What you can't have here, though, is you just can't get the ball back to Kansas City with a lot of time left. Watson on first down. We'll look around. He'll throw. Incomplete. I mean, so far, it hasn't been sharp from Watson. Second and 10. Deshaun lines up under center. Drop back, throw, crosser, middle of the field. First down, let's go. Jeremy Stallman, we got two super chats on Jeremy to catch up on. We'll get to those now, two-minute warning, I guess. So first down, Brownies, let's go. You know you both would love to be in her box. I mean, it's warm. They definitely That's have good sure. food. Yeah. They're, they're going to have the best service. A lot to eat. Probably get on TV. Probably got on TV. And warm, for starters. No doubt. Look how cold it is out there. Uh, Jeremy, smile, Petey. If they score here, I'll smile. Handshake deal. First and 10. Watson surveying. Watson throwing. Caught first. No, incomplete. Damn, thought he had it. Yeah. Second down. Both teams have all their timeouts remaining. Kelsey's going for the high fives. At their own 40. I mean, they're probably a solid 25 yards away from field goal range in this weather. Watson all by himself in the gun, throwing, just not on target. Man was open, throw wasn't there. Third down. Here we go. I want this ball going to one man and one man only. Amari Cooper. Throwing deep. Caught. First down, Browns. Let's go. Amari Cooper. What did I tell you? Big throw and catch from four to two. In the clutch. Over the middle. Traffic on all ends. Takes the hit and holds on to the football. First and 10, Cleveland. Now you can kind of slow down a little bit. You don't want to score too quickly and give Kansas City some time. Watson looking around, throwing, and it is broken up. That looked like it could have been picked. Second down and 10. Skinny Andy. There's a lot of things that Madden does wrong. That's one of them. Back in the gun from the 30-yard line. Drop back for Watson. He will throw. Right sideline has a man. That looks caught first down. Out of bounds, Jerry Judy. Inside the red zone. You know what I wouldn't mind here? Nice run play. You got the defense huffing and puffing. They're on their heels. Shove it down their throats. Instead, it's empty set. Watson will look to pass. 
it's incomplete. See, now the defense can kind of catch their breath, reassess, get ready. A little over a minute left. Second down. Under center. Deshaun, three-step drop, quick throw, caught, wide open, touchdown! Amari Cooper has six, four, plus two, touchdown! All by himself, a complete busting coverage, no one in the same zip code of Cooper, and he's in for the score. Let's go. That's a big response. Now the Browns get the ball to start the second half, which makes the next minute and four seconds very important. Get a stop, go into the half, down a score with the ball coming your way, and before Patrick Mahomes gets a chance to touch the ball again, you could have this game starting all over at 14 apiece. That's the beauty of the double dip, the George Costanza. Score, you got to win those four minutes. The two minutes to, start the, to end the first half, two minutes to start the second half. 14-7. We're smiling, Jeremy. We are smiling. Let's go. Jeremy stole me with the $2 super chat. Speak of the devil. Two for Coop. Could you imagine if Miles Garrett gets a touchdown? That'd be dangerous. <laughs> we got a scoop and score from Garrett. The return... That looked like the greatest return I've ever seen in this game, and it just gets you out to the 25, where you would have started with, and you preserve four seconds. Lord Buddy Bear is here. Better not lose this game. I hate the cheap. Buddy Bear, I'm going to try our absolute best and hardest for you. Just for you. First and 10, with a minute to go in the first half. All three timeouts left for Patrick Mahomes in Kansas City, starting at their own 26. In the gun. Snap to Mahomes. He is pressured, finds a man, but it's incomplete, not on target. Second and ten. It'd be great at the defense. Imagine even a quick stop here, get the offense back on the field, get in field goal range maybe, kind of eke out three points that you shouldn't have. Mahomes back in the gun, empty set this time. Snap. Four-man rush, throwing. He has a man open first down. Out towards the 50, it is Marquise Brown. Are we all sleeping on Marquise Brown? Is he going to put up monster numbers this year? I mean, considering he, who his quarterback is, maybe. Yeah. Got to readjust my fancy football board. First and 10. Here we go, boys. Come on. Let's get a stop. Three, oh, Kansas City called their first time out after that one. So two timeouts remaining. In shotgun. Snap to Mahomes. He throws over the middle, incomplete. I mean, Mahomes has been the better quarterback today, but both quarterbacks have kind of, I would say, struggled, but battled the weather conditions. Defense definitely needs to stop. Get those stops in the chat. Mahomes in the gun on his half of the 50. Snap. 45 seconds and counting. Throw, caught, no, incomplete, broken up. Third and 10, good coverage by the Browns. And it'll be third and 10 with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Two timeouts left for Kansas City, three for Cleveland. Big third down here. Span those threes. Let's go. Man in motion. Mahomes takes the snap. Has time, throwing, middle of the field. That's not complete. Fourth down. And now the Browns will have an opportunity to get the last say in for the first 12 minutes of this game here. Fourth and 10. Punt coming up. I mean, they'll be backed up deep in their own territory, but with three timeouts, if they are able to pick up some yardage any part of the field, as the punt goes out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. If I'm, if I'm Cleveland here, I'm aggressive. I'm not looking just to get into the half. You have three timeouts. You have enough time to get into field goal range. You're down seven. 
And you know you got to steal something from the Chiefs. And this is an opportunity to steal a possession. One that maybe you shouldn't have budgeted into the fact that you have for the first half, but got to get one from Kansas City because you're likely not going to force many turnovers from Mahomes. Snap to Watson. It's a screen. Caught. Chubb running. Slipping out of a tackle, and he only gets about four yards. Browns are not going to call a timeout. To me, that signals just waving the white flag for the first half. Second and six. They could let the entire play clock run out. Yeah, that's what, that's what. Damn it. If they snap it, oh, my God, what are you doing? What, are you going to score on this play now? Oh, no. Let, let Watson pad his stats or get injured. That's, that's the only outcome available there. First and ten to round out the half. 14-7. Just shitty management there. Use your timeouts. They don't carry over to the second half. How would you grade the Browns' first half? I'd give them B minus. I'm going C plus. Yeah, I was like, you scored one, so that's nice. You made a stop here, or there on defense. It wasn't. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't good either. Yeah, B, C, C plus, B minus. There needs to be a grade in between those two, like C plus plus. C. B minus minus? Yeah. B minus squared? Right. So it's like, listen, it's not as bad as a C, but it's not as good as a B. It's that. Second half coming up. Here we go. It will be Cleveland's ball to start the second half, so they can still go down the field and tie the game. Christopher gives him a B. Cool Guy gives him a C. American Cheese giving him a C. Kickoff to restart the game. This is not going to go well. Oh, proven wrong. A little bit. I mean, maybe the best return of the season to the 27. Woo. Making me eat crow. I like it. Jeremy gives him a D. Ghostface gives him a C. James Harper gives him a C. Here we go. Watson setting up for first and ten, trying to even out the score. Under center, it's a run for Chubb up the gut. He'll fall forward, gain a four. It has been tough sledding for Chubb the last two or three weeks. I have no data to back it up other than just the eye test and my memory. And I don't think Chubb has performed superb over that three- to four-week stretch going into this week. Second and six, Watson checked down. This is caught first down. Let's go. Elijah Moore moving the sticks. Well, well, well. Look who decided to show up. Time and the Buckeye. We're on your clock now. It's time and time. No, Let no. us know, time and what's a convenient time for you for us to start our show. Don't worry, time and We'll wait till 5.30 next time. Watson drops back. He's pressured. He's sacked. Loss of 10. Second and 12. Just so lucky to have Time Man here. I'm just happy that he blessed us with his presence. Watson throwing. Caught first down. Let's go. Big gain on second and long. Finding Amari Cooper yet again across the 50 they move. There we go. That's a good spark. That's something. Amari Cooper. Getting the Browns in business. First and 10. Down seven. Two minutes into the second half. It's a handoff to Chubb. He's looking for room to run. He won't find much to gain a three. Second and seven. You know, going to Amari Cooper seems to be the, the working play recently. Yeah, he's been the number one target today. Haven't seen much at all from Jerry Judy and not much from David and Joku either. Look at all the stars. 
Keller, Joku, Judy, Cooper, Watson, stepping up, dumping it off. This is caught first down. Nice find by Watson. And that's yet again Amari Cooper moving the sticks. Another first down for Cleveland. From the 30, Watson lines up at center, or lines up in the shotgun, takes the snap. He looks, he throws, caught, sideline first down, Cooper, another grab. Having one of the best games of the season, trying to help the Browns' comeback efforts. First and 10, good guys. Oh, the Chiefs are challenging this one. Well, let's get another look at it. They only give you like one look. Uh, is that left foot in? They never let you like tell. I mean, he's got two feet there. Yeah, he doesn't get his third foot in, but he gets the first two. This is a catch in my eyes. Unless they say he did not possess the ball when he had the first two feet down. I think it's a catch. This better be call stands or call confirm. And it is indeed... A catch, and the Chiefs have been charged a timeout. So Cleveland inside the red zone, down seven, midway through the third quarter. Let's run with Chubb. They do that exactly. Chubb finds an open grass patch and finds seven yards. One of the better runs yet for 24. Second and three. Inside the 10-yard line, Deshaun back in shotgun. It's another run for Chubb. He's got some room. He's got the end zone. Touchdown. We are tied. The Browns level the score off a five-yard Nick Chubb run. Let's go. Show me those TDs. That's what we wanted to see, baby. Let's go, Chubb. All even at 14. Nice stiff arm. Not bringing me down. Now the Browns defense needs to answer the call. The offense has awoken. They put up 14 points in a row. We are starting over at the end of the third quarter. Here we go. Defense, you've been okay today. I mean, have forced two punts. Hard to ask for much more against this Chiefs offense. It's very creative. I'll say that much. Oh, Madden, never change. Actually, you should change. Kick off to restart the game. And it is wisely kneeled down in the end zone for a touchback. Man, Marquise Brown, five grabs for 112 yards today. That's a lot of work in six-minute quarters. First and ten, come on, defense. I would love a sack. I mean, turnover would be great. We're not complaining about that at all, but a sack would be nice just to get the Chiefs behind schedule. Throw off their rhythm, throw off their timing a little bit. In the gun, snap, it's a handoff. Run is going to Pacheco for a gain of just two. Nice stop by Jordan Hicks. Second and eight, okay, there we go. That's a good start to this drive for Cleveland's defense. Minor gain by the Chiefs. Back in the gun. It will be a play fake. Mahomes, left sideline, this is caught first down. Forward progress will move the sticks for Travis Kelsey. Come on, defense. Come on, boys. Under center. 
Run to the right. Pacheco slips out of one tackle and takes the second for a ride. Picks up six yards. Browns defense trying to keep their offense in this game. Offense has been heating up lately. 14 unanswered points to end the drought. Shotgun formation. Check down is caught for a first down and more. Marquise Brown is not going down easily. He gets across the 50. Damn. First and 10. I, I like this from Buddy Bear. Where's this guy Garrett at? You can just kind of read through that message and go, Max would never disappear. It's a run. No gain on the play. Second and 10. And that will take us to, I believe, the end of the third quarter. So after three quarters, we are still no closer to our end than we were at our beginning. We're all even at 14 apiece here. Let's go. Sub for dubs. Get the good vibes going for the fourth quarter. Sub for dubs, baby. Let's go, Brownies. From the Browns, 40. Second and 10. Under center. Mahomes. Snap. Run. Nowhere to go. Just a gain of three. And the Chiefs. Have third down. Span those threes. Let's get off the field. Send Diet Andy Reid back to Kansas City with a loss. I mean, this would be a huge win towards claiming a playoff spot for the Browns. Third and seven. Mahomes throws middle of the field, caught inside the red zone. Got to be kidding me. Rasheed Rice. Third down and seven, and they find Rasheed Rice for a big gain to move the sticks. First and ten. Come on. Inside the 20. Hold him to a field goal. That's the plan. Plan has changed. Mahomes with time throwing left side. This is caught in bounds, gain of five. Under five minutes, the clock will stop if the offensive player gets out of bounds. Buddy Bear, I'm not really sure what the outcome of Rasheed Rice is going to be. It's been very quiet the last couple of weeks. Second and five, Mahomes throwing middle of the field, caught. It's a gain of five, but it'll still be third and inches. So the Browns do have a chance to maybe make a stop, force a field goal. Third and Baker Mayfield. Spam those threes, baby. We need it more than ever. Let's go. Mahomes will pass on third and inches. End zone. Got to be kidding me. It's a hat trick for Travis Kelsey. He's not even really open. Like, there's, there's traffic all over. He's hit as he catches it. Another Kelsey touchdown. This time it pushes the lead to 21-14. With under four to play in the fourth quarter, I'll tell you my fear right now. The Browns tie the game and the Chiefs go down the field and score to win it. So You can kind of already see that writing on the wall. If the Browns do score, do you go for two or do you kick the extra point? Um, usually I'm team extra point. I think that changes with the Chiefs. I agree. Like you're two yards away from taking the lead. You don't get that chance very often with that team. Yeah. You do with the Panthers. Yeah, exactly. Kick off to restart the game. Oh, boy. Get your thumbs out. It's going to be nauseous. 
Here comes Watson. Down by seven. We got ourselves a close finish. I don't think Madden goes for two, though. So, yeah. They don't have that killer instinct. Snap to Watson. It's a run with Chubb. He cuts back, and he gets about four. I like that. You know, we're not going to completely abandon the run. Still want to keep the defense on their toes a little bit. They, if they want to sit back in deep zones, fine. We'll run it up the middle. Second and six in the pistol. Snap. Roll out to the right. Quick throw, caught, gain of three. And second and two, Wyatt Teller going up to his quarterback. You got this? You got this four? Third and two, what do you guys want to do? You want to run it or pass it? I do whatever you think is the best chance of converting and not factor in the clock. I like the idea of throwing it to Amari Cooper. I also hate running it with Nick Chubb, which they, oh my God! I was just about to say, if you run it with Nick Chubb, what I hate what teams do on third and two is when they pitch it back or line up in shotgun. Why are you starting so far away from where you need to go? See, I would go for it in this situation if I'm the Browns. You got three timeouts. You're only down seven. I would punt it. You have a good defense, and they have made some stops today. So That's true. Can, That's can true. they make one big stop for you? But I do hate when coaches, like, on third and short, like, you just need to go forward an inch, but your first thought is, let's start by going back five yards. Like, don't. Just, just hand it off. You don't need to go back so far to go forward so little. Miles Garrett, it would be awesome if you could make an appearance right now. I think we'd all appreciate that. Quick throw. This is caught. And a gain of eight. Man, that's like worst case scenario. I'd rather they get the first down there, and then you can just start from scratch again. But now if they burn some clock and then get the first down, it was, I don't know how to describe it, but like, you know, the worst case, the, the worst outcome is when they barely come up short to the first down, they get the next time. So they still get the first down reward, and they burn more clock. Run, Pacheco, he's an idiot. Wow, he's dumb. There was not one, but two times he could have just gone forward for the first down and not end the game, but put it out of reach almost. So the Browns call a timeout, third and three. This is the game pretty much. If they get the first down here, you're not done mathematically, but you put yourself in a very tough position. Third and three. Come on, get a stop. They run. No, first down. First down, Kansas City. The Browns call a timeout. They can get the ball back with maybe 15 seconds left, I think. I'm not even sure. It might be game, actually. I, I don't know. Damn it. First and 10. They're going to run it, and it's going to go for a gain of one. Timeout called. So second and nine will take 45 seconds. That'll take us down to a minute. And that'll bring up third and, let's say, nine as well. That would take 40. We're looking at maybe 10 seconds. I think it's closer to five. From the 50, second and nine. Another run. Pacheco bouncing around, falling forward, gain of eight, third and one. And the Browns cannot stop the clock. This will take us right towards the one-minute mark. This is the game here. First down and it's over. Mahomes under center. 
Drops back to pass. Swings it over. Oh, he gets the first. Well, that was like best case scenario there. You got the Chiefs to pass, giving you at least a lifeline of an incompletion. But Pacheco will move the sticks, and that's the ball game. Damn. So the Chiefs come into town. They knock off the 7-5-1 Browns. That'll make them 7-6-1. Still looking for a playoff spot. They are very much still in the thick of winning the AFC North and just a wild card spot. But that will do it. The final score, 21-14, Chiefs over the Browns. Yeah. Well, Appreciate everyone for hanging out with us for another Madden Watch Party. We'll see you guys for our next game next week. Make sure to subscribe to follow along for the entire season. Uh, that will do it for us on our Madden show and also for our live show here on the Cleveland Browns Report. So thank you to everyone who's been watching for us over the last 90-plus minutes. We'll sign off. We'll see you guys later.